Hi again. Hey, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. And I'd like to conclude this discussion on vectors with um, a look at MATLAB. And all the um, the calculations we've done so far have been pretty basic. Um, as these get more complicated and we start building on each other, it's definitely going to be handy to, to computerize this and make it uh, make it a lot more faster. And um, that's where MATLAB comes into play. So actually, MATLAB it stands for Matrix Laboratory. And um, a vector is actually a type of matrix. A vector is just a matrix that only has one row or a column. So in a sense, MATLAB is designed exactly to, to do the kind of problem we're asking um, it to do with vectors. And it does it really well and really simply. And I've definitely used MATLAB all throughout um, college. And I've seen it used a lot in the pro programs that I've managed um, as, a, as an officer. And I'm sure you'll definitely see it again. So just learning learning MATLAB is definitely going to pay off, not for just for this class, but um, for um, for future work you do down the road, I'm sure. So starting back with our first video, we looked at a basic 2D vector. We called that A. And we just said um, A was equal to 1, 2 vector. And that's all you got to do to define a vector. Um, pretty easy. You see um, MATLAB cranks it out. If I want to find the uh, magnitude of this vector, we use the, the command norm, it stands for normalize. So we just do norm of A, and that gives us its magnitude, which you, you recall that was the um, square root of 5. So you can see those are the same number. Um, alternatively, if we wanted to find the, um, the magnitude, we didn't necessarily have to define A. We could just say norm. And that would give us the same answer. So a lot of, a lot of ways to do these. Um, if you recall, we also described C. And I think it was the second video. So we said um, C was equal to a half of A. So we say A over 2. And you can see that now I've defined C. And if you look over here on the left, you can see that as we're, as we're um, creating these variables, they're showing up in our workspace over here. So we've got C as um, 0.5 and 1. So that matches up. That was scaling. Um, we can also do addition with um, with this. So if you recall, we defined this vector d was equal to 3, 1. So if we want to add those together, let's call that e, like we did in the video. e is equal to a plus d. And now we have e of uh, 4, 3, which, um, which matches up. Um, and you can imagine subtraction is basically the same thing. And after that, we jumped into uh, 3D vectors. So let's go ahead and redefine A as that vector. We redefined it to in 3D as uh, the vector 1, 2, 3. And you'll notice that my vector A changed up here. But these other vectors that depended on it, um, C and E, they didn't actually change. So we'd actually have to re-execute those commands if we wanted, if we wanted to um, those variables to reflect that change I just made in, in A. And we can use that same norm command to find the magnitude of A. So we can just say norm of A. And that's giving us um, this decimal. But if you recall in the video, we found it as a square root. And if we want to do this more symbolically, you can all you got to do is just say norm of sim of A. And that's actually going to give us um, the square root of 14, which we found in the, in the video. So finally, the last thing that we did was we found the unit vector. So let's define that as a unit. And in order to do this with MATLAB, we could just say that's equal to my vector a divided by the magnitude of a, or norm of a. And let's try and do this symbolically. And it gives me the unit vector. And just to check to make sure that is a unit vector, we can take the norm of it. And it's one, so that checks out. But um, say we wanted this back into its decimal form, then all we have to do is just say, let's say double a unit, and that's going to get us to the decimal form if you prefer. So uh, there's a couple of really basic uh, vector commands. Um, hope this helps, and until next time, take care.